Hello everybody and welcome to New Metropolis. Uh, so this is my replacement, so to speak, for the Metropolis series. Oh, that uh, was pronounced weird. The Metropolis series, which I sort of discontinued now it's two weeks ago. Uh, because I was sort of out of the groove with it and I felt that there was just too much grinding involved for what I was trying to get at. Uh, so I've come to a new world and I've also switched it to creative which will hopefully reinvigorate some of my creativity and also just make it easier for the series to progress without hours and hours of grinding. So it is called New Metropolis partially because a lot of cities in the new world were named after old cities so I decided to do that with this and also because I didn't feel like coming up with another name. Uh, get rid of that rain. So we are in creative, and to start off with, I built this ship uh, off camera, but it's a nice ship, I think. It's, I think it's the second ship I've ever built in Minecraft, so I think given that, it wasn't too, it isn't too bad. Um, this is, it's very basely modeled off of the Mayflower, even though it probably doesn't end up, didn't end up looking that much like it, but uh, I think it looks nice enough for our beginning. So, right now, let's set the scene a little bit. It is probably about 1620, 16, 1620 to 1630. Uh, settlers are starting to come over to the New World. And, yeah, so what do they do first? They come in over the ships. Uh, most settlers would actually live in their ships for the first few months until uh, they got settlements up. But, right for this particular city, we're going to be going with sort of a northeastern, uh, like New England style. So one of the first things they built was, so this episode we're mainly just going to be doing some basic um, shelters, but we're probably also going to get started on a, uh, is it a town hall or a meeting hall? I forget the exact name of it, but it's basically a place where people would meet for official business. And yeah, so I think for this sort of stuff, uh, this is a custom world, by the way, with a custom seed that I picked and a few custom world, uh, some of the new custom settings. Uh, did I mention it was custom? Uh, these lava links aren't supposed to be here, but I don't want to rebuild the world at this point. But, yeah, it's going to be somewhere along... I mean, the city itself is going to take up pretty much all this, plus a bunch of stuff around here. My red distance is on pretty low because my computer... Well, I had 3 gigabytes of RAM dedicated to Minecraft and suddenly it's only a thousand or yeah I had one gigabyte dedicated to Minecraft and now it's and then I dedicate the three and then I then it somehow got back to one so my Minecraft isn't running at its top notch but yeah I'm thinking that once we get to a harbor it's gonna be in this little area which is why I specifically made the boat here but until then we're probably gonna have the basic settlements maybe be over here um, so, yeah, I'll get started on that. I'm going to see what sort of, uh, how, what sort of filming style I'm going to go with the actual building, because uh, I do have an extra account, and there's something that I may be able to use that second account to record, uh, but we will see, and you're about to see right now, I'll figure it out a little bit later, but I'll be right back. Okay, so I managed to get my camera account, so we're going to be using this sort of perspective for the rest of the episode and probably the series. Uh, so, yeah, there I am over there, and I started this by burning down the forest. Um, this is, I used that in my landscaping guide uh, for Chapter 3, the building guide, but I decided in this particular scenario it wasn't very effective, and especially because it actually started raining halfway through this uh, and put out all the fire, so I just ended up using the slash field to get rid of all the logs and leaves. Uh, so once that was all done, I decided I wanted to put in place a dock, because uh, back in the old days you had to get from a big boat, and you'd have to take a smaller boat to get to the land, and so this is a dock for the smaller boat using spruce logs underwater, oak logs, and this uh, oak slabs, and then I started building a pathway out to the inland. So. Uh, that's made of coarse dirt. Uh, I used some oak logs and spruce uh, half slabs for barrels. They don't look quite like barrels, but they're close enough. Uh, so this 
extend is going to extend inland. Uh, first, I got rid of that little annoying bit of grass. Uh, yeah, so that comes up, and I actually use spruce slabs uh, as a sort of a path half slab because that actually ended up looking pretty nice, and that was surprising. It goes well with the dirt. Uh, so this extends. It's going to go straight along that sort of ridge of blocks. It's I mean, it's a one block drop, Sarley Ridge. I played around a little bit with entrances, but it didn't really look that good, so I decided against it. Uh, and then I actually looked up the houses that I was going to be building and decided that they're sort of gray, so I wanted to use acacia wood somehow. Uh, and I started by actually building the supports out of acacia wood, but that so looked sort of stupid, so I decided against it. And I actually started using oak wood for the supports. And I ended up using acacia wood for the walls themselves. And so I played around with a lot of different things I wanted to do. Like, I tried making different windows and door sizes and having all the logs go in different directions. But it ended up not being that way because apparently a lot of the houses back then didn't really have windows. Uh, so I also went with oak wood for, or oak wood stairs for the roof because that was most historically accurate and actually ended up looking surprisingly good I have to say I was not expecting it and it sort of ends up creating this sort of unique recognizable style that is historically accurate so I was perfectly fine with it just adding in some half slabs to the roof and extending it one out so that it doesn't look like crap and on the other side I put in a cobble fireplace because, I mean, you had to keep warm in the winter somehow. Uh, so that comes out to the side. You'll see more of that in the next clip because I can't really film it very well from this angle. And at this point, I think I just got rid of all the windows and stuff and had everything going sideways because that's how the actual houses back then looked. Uh, the architectural style will change soon, but until then, uh, let's talk about what we've been doing here. Okay, and we're back in first person mode. Um, so I managed to get the uh, camera account working. Uh, the camera account's name is Father Gallus. Uh, if you want the backstory behind that, you can actually watch my first uh, Wander Trek episode where I talk about my previous YouTube ventures, and he was a part of that, and I just happened to have a spare account lying around. Uh, but yeah, this is our first house. So, actually, I was planning on going with something different, but I actually looked up an image of Plymouth, which is what I'm currently modeling this off of a bit. Uh, and the houses look different than I expect. They're made out of this sort of gray, nasty wood. Uh, and the best I could find was acacia. They also didn't have any uh, windows. They just had a door. So right now it's going to be pretty dark in here. Or not. Strangely enough. Oh, whoops. I uh, need to fix that. Uh, I'll probably be, I'll do be doing it in interiors since I'm creative and I'll have the time. Uh, but yeah, this is our model house. I might also just for fun. Yeah, uh, there will be a fireplace here. Uh, let's just throw that in there real quick. Doom. Yep, so I should probably also turn off fire tick. Gamer will do fire tick false. So that basically means I can light whatever I want on fire, but it's never going to spread. So that's going to be super useful, especially given Minecraft's finicky fire mechanics when it comes to fireplaces. So what we do now, I mean, even we, we don't even have to put another rack in here because anything's going to burn forever. Boom. Got ourselves a fireplace. So, yeah, this is our model house. I'm probably going to do one last bit of building. Now, in between that or this that last recording session and this, I sort of leveled a lot of the forest just so I would have free room to build. Uh, I, I sort of want to edit this a little bit because it looks derpy. Um, maybe bring this down. I'm trying to do some of the creative process on camera, if possible. That's a little bit better. Just to give an idea of what I'm thinking, 
Uh, I haven't recorded the audio for that uh, previous part yet, uh, but I'm going to try to talk a little bit about the history and everything, because history is pretty neat. Uh, so I'm going to yep, jump back into third person mode, and we will uh, finish off the episode. Okay, back to building. So to start off, I decided to use the slash clone command to clone this house uh, right to the side of it. I messed up a little bit on the first try. Uh, I moved it a little bit too far to the X, but next on the next try I managed to get it right, and the next try after that as well. So after that, I decided to extend the path a little bit more, uh, just so I could include all those wonderful houses. Uh, and after that, I decided to start working on a fence. So I was actually modeling this off of the fence I saw in Jamestown, which is like this gray, rickety, ugly thing. Uh, so I decided to build something similar using acacia wood, uh, and I put cobblestone slabs on top of that, and then connected them with cobblestone walls. So I've never seen this used before, uh, but I actually think, first of all, it sort of gave off the fact that I was looking forward to sort of this old, rundown, gray fence, and it also ended up looking pretty cool and fit in with the houses as well. I added little uh, fences between the houses and put ban white banners on them to look like hanging clothes. Uh, and then I decided to start working on a farm. Uh, so I used slash fill to get rid of some grass. Uh, so I guess I can take this opportunity to talk a little bit about what sort of stuff that the uh, northeastern American colonies were doing during this time. So, like, the southern colonies at this time were just growing tobacco like there's no tomorrow. Because it was making tons of money in Europe. Uh, but, I mean, the people in the Northeast really came for religious reasons. They, did, they didn't really care about making money. But when they had to, it was mainly, uh, they did, I think it was fishing, uh, fur, catching, and lumber. But for food, which because they needed food, they mainly grew wheat, uh, just because that's what it was pretty easy to build or to grow. Uh, and specifically in the Pilgrim story, they didn't really, they weren't very good at farming until, oh, excuse me, a native came and taught them some of the farming techniques. But unfortunately, Minecraft did not have corn or squash or pumpkins or anything. Actually, it does have pumpkins, so I might put some of those in later, but um, I won't be able to grow any of that, so that's very unfortunate. But yeah, I just uh, hoed the ground and then placed seeds immediately, or near immediately, so that I didn't have to put any uh, ugly water sources, because this is... I mean, everything here is pretty much purely aesthetical. Aesthetic. Something like that. But anyways, I just uh, completed that fence, and then I finished up by just bone meal and everything, so this is a very tedious task, and this time-lapse footage cannot fully explain the pain that I went through running back and forth in those fields, bone mealing and everything. So once I was done with that, uh, I recorded this next clip, which we will be going to any moment now. Any moment now. Any moment now. Okay, there we go. And we are back for the end of the episode, so I'm in a boat right now, I'm right by our little ship, and we're going to go and explore our colony so far. So let's see if I can land at this dock. Oh, close enough. Gotta make sure the boat, yeah, the boat's gone. Uh, so yeah, we have a few barrels over here, some lumber uh, come through here. We have our wall, laundry hanging, our houses to the side. So this is just a more first-person view of what's going on. I think I might try to bring these out and in a little bit, because that's going to add more depth. Uh, I added this little cooking pot, because they had those. This, by the way, is just four stairs facing inwards to a log, and a cauldron, and some fences, more lumber, our little farm. And that is all we did this episode. Uh, I will definitely work a little bit on it before next episode, just so we can... Uh, move right along, but that is it for today. So, if you have any suggestions, you can leave it in the comments. Uh, if you liked, you can leave a like. Uh, if you really liked or would like to see more, you can subscribe. And until next time, goodbye.